Oh, you're trying to get a Google business profile set up for your business, but for some reason or another, Google just keeps on suspending it. Let me show you exactly why I think this is happening and just based on my experience, what you can do to help you verify your brand new listing. What's up there guys, this is here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping local businesses, contractors, and home service providers understand this internet thing, Google, and getting their business found online. And this video, I wanna talk about the Google business profile, especially for those of you guys that are new to trying to set one of these things up and having a very difficult time to get one set up to begin with. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed, uh, especially like say the last year or so, people that are setting up a new Google business profile, they're having a hell of a time getting it verified. Um, some of them are able to verify it, but what happens with Google is as soon as it's verified, like 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes later, it's immediately suspended. And I wanna to explain to you guys why I think this is happening. Now, I come from a background of lead gen generation, building up rank and rent type models of websites. This is how I started my whole journey online, setting up websites, ranking businesses, things like that. I used to build out uh, lead generating websites that would, I would eventually rank on Google and then get those leads in and then sell them over to a contractor or a home service business provider. I started a lot with uh, people with junk removal businesses. I would build out junk removal websites, get them to rank, and I would go out there and get Google business profiles verified, even though I didn't even live in that location. This is what I was taught when I started my stuff. This was probably 2017, 18 when I was doing that. And there were services on Fiverr that could get you a Google business profile set up. You could set up an ad on Craigslist and use somebody's address. You put up an ad in, in a certain location, tell people that you need them to set up a Google business profile. You pay them 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it had to. And you would get them to set up a Google business profile. They would send a postcard, get it verified, and you pay them the 100 bucks. And they just give you the credentials for that listing. I used to do this kind of stuff. And I always felt really guilty about it felt like trash because this is like I'm, on, I'm making a fake listing this is not a real listing but i was trying to do it because i wanted to rank businesses rank uh, business profiles generate leads for some business owners and try to rent these websites out things like that but deep down i always felt not good about it i just never did all, all eventually as time went on google caught on to this stuff and it just started suspending these listings making it more and more difficult to verify these listings and it just and this is why they started to create the video verification type of the listing now because google knew about all this stuff that was going on and much of my channel here, what I always talk about is how would I run things if, if I owned Google and Google's search engine? Do I want all these people creating all these fake listings? Hell no. Why would I want to do that? It's going to ruin my brand here, Google, with people just creating listings. They're not even in the location. They're spammier than shit. And the problem that's caused is that there is legitimate business owners out there now that are legitimately trying to set up a business profile. And now they have to jump through hoops just to make that happen. So it's, it's caused big, big problems. On one hand, it's really, really good that they've gone so much into really filtering out all the garbage and all the spammers and all these rank and rent type business people that build up these websites and listings. It's great because you're filtering all those people out, but it's also good now because if you're a legitimate business and you create this Google business profile, now you don't have to compete against six, seven, eight, ten additional fake listings on the Google business map listings to rank at the top. So here's some of the things I've I've helped with some local businesses who have had a difficult time getting these listings verified. And it's just to be 100% accurate, be truthful about what you're doing. Bottom line, Google just wants legitimate, true businesses in the local area. So let's say I wanted to start a lawn care service here where I live in Paso Robles, and I wanna start my own business and I'm setting everything up, right? I can't just wake up tomorrow morning or this afternoon and set up a Google business profile. Google's gonna ask me for the website, the phone number of the business, all that stuff. And it's gonna ask me for video verification. I just started the business. I don't have any of that stuff. I might not even have the truck. I don't have any logos. I don't. Have, Google's gonna ask for that. So when I ask for video verification, it's gonna want video verification of the actual address of the business. I would video verify the business license. I'd ver video verify the truck that I'm gonna use for the business. Hopefully I have a logo on there. They want to see you put in the key to the truck and open it, some business cards, things like that. So Google's just not going to verify somebody who's just, hey, I want to start up a lawn care business and set a business profile. It's just not going to allow it. It wants all this proof. So before trying to set one of these business profiles up, make sure that you're already kind of like in business. You already got things going. 
Maybe you have an LLC, a business license, all that stuff. Get all that stuff lined up before you even try to set a Google business profile up. Because the bottom line, I, I tell people again, over and over again, Google's looking for real businesses. And again, if I own Google's platform, that's exactly what I'll be looking for too. Especially as competitive as things are going to get here in the future with this AI stuff and all this stuff, Google still want to keep its brand of giving people good results, like good listings of businesses in a particular town. It's not going to want Joe Schmo, who just started, who sucks ass at what he does and put him all the way to the top of the search results. So when somebody calls that lawn care business, the guy doesn't pick up, he does lousy work or he just he just flat out sucks. Why would Google recommend that? They wouldn't do that. They're looking for legitimate, good businesses to place at the top. I always tell people, ultimately, what Google's looking for is the three best businesses in a particular area for a specific service. It is your job to prove to Google that you are one of those top three businesses in that particular town. So if I'm going to start a lawn care service here where I live in Pasadena, Robles, California. Am I one of the best? I just started. Absolutely not. I'm not. There's probably three or four, five, six established lawn care services in my town and I have to beat them. So I can't just get a brand new listing and expect that thing to rank here in about two months. The only difference is the only way that's going to happen is if those five or six established lawn care services aren't even online to begin with. Then, yeah, you're going to beat them out. But these days, people are getting online. That's why it's so difficult to get one of these listings verified. So let's say that you do have all that stuff lined up, right? Let's say I started my lawn care service. I'm already set up. I got my business license. I got a truck. I even got a magnet logo I put, I bought and I put on my truck. And I'm, I'm ready to get verified, right? I've been in business for, let's say, two months. I got a few clients. I got things. So I even built out my website already. It's, it's up there online. Everything's good, right? Now I want to go get a business profile. So I go through the process with Google, get the Google business verified. I go through the video verification process. I show them the, the, my house address. I show them my cross street where I live. I go and show them my business card. I show them my business license on the recording. I show them my truck. I show them opening my truck. I show them the tools in my truck. Flat out. There's, there's no doubt that I'm a lawn care service in my town. I send them that video verification and then bam, the damn thing gets suspended a few minutes, minutes later. Well, what do you do then? At that point, Dan, you send an appeal. And I've helped some business owners with this process. So you go in and send an appeal. And what Google does is they're going to ask for more documentation and you have to send them this stuff. And it gives you like a time limit. It gives you about an hour for you to do this. Again, I understand why they're doing it. Again, if I own Google, would I want to do all this stuff? Yeah, I'm not going to give these guys infinite time to go out there and create a bunch of phony documents, you know, and just fake stuff. I am ultimately looking for legitimate businesses. I own Google. I want to showcase the best three lawn care services in that town. Just prove it to me. So as part of that process, since you're already in business, you already have your business license, all that stuff, you just go through the, the appeal. It's going to ask, sometimes it'll give you like five spots to send extra documents. So let's say you got an LLC, a tax LLC. You send them an image of that. You send them an image of your cell phone bill that has your business name. You send them an image of your business license. You send them an image of like a utility bill with your specific name. You send them all that crap and it's going to ask you to fill in some information as to why you think you should appeal it and just tell them, just be truthful. It's just, hey, I've been in business for a few months. I got all my documentation. I did this, this and that. I sent everything in. Please let me know if I need any additional stuff. Just be truthful, right? Be a human being. Send that stuff in and it usually takes three, five. I've seen it take up to two weeks and eventually Google comes back and it says, well, your appeal has been approved and your listing is up and live. Now, as soon as that listing is up and live, from what I've seen, do not touch that thing. Just leave it alone. Don't start fiddling around with it. Don't start changing anything. Because I noticed even after that, I've uploaded some pictures and the pictures don't show up. So just leave it. Just ignore it. Just sit back. Let it, like I always tell people when I set up a website, just let that thing marinate online. Just leave it alone. And little by little, start adding your pictures on it. It usually takes about, I will say five to 10 days when I've noticed that the pictures will start to load up. You can start making some changes and everything starts to just get going. And then you can send out the link to start getting reviews and all that stuff. But ultimately, that's what Google's looking for when you send up a new business profile. All the spammers, all the rank and rent guys, all the lead generating people out there have ruined the whole platform of Google map listing. And now as valuable as that real estate is online, especially on that phone, like I always tell people, nobody goes any further than the, they go to the ads, they go to the map listings, and by some miracle, they go down to the bottom organic stuff. But I would say 40, 50% of the clicks go to that three pack of Google's map listings. And as crucial as that piece of real estate is on that first page, Google's just not gonna allow fake listings to show on there and any sketchy business whatsoever to be placed in that real estate of their first page. So, I mean, there you have it. If you're out there trying to set up a new business profile, make sure your business is online and you have your legitimate business out there in the real world 
to begin with. Get established before you even try to set up the business profile because Google's going to ask for all that verification stuff to prove that you're a legitimate business. And like I said, that starts with getting that license, getting your logos, getting your website set up, getting all that stuff set up. I mean, back in the day, you could just set one of these listings up with nothing. You didn't need shit. You just put the name and the phone number and you're good to go. But these days, that shit just does not fly. So if you guys need help with any of this stuff, let's say, for example, you need that website. I think it's very, very important that you establish that website even before you get that business profile set up. Because I have I've helped business owners that have had websites up for three or four or five or six years, but they never even bothered to set up a Google business profile because they just didn't care. But now they see the importance of it. And I connect that website to that listing. Sometimes Google bypasses the video verification. Uh, sometimes it goes straight to a phone number because Google's seen that website online for a while. And sometimes it'll even verify with a e with an email. But even at that point, sometimes they'll still suspend it and you have to send in the proof of documentation of the real business, uh, utility bill, business license, that kind of thing to, again, verify the listing. So if you guys need help with the website, building one out, if you're starting out, just link in the description below. I have my template website with training to show you how to build the whole damn thing for yourself if that's something you're looking to do. Also, I show everybody in my training everything that I do for local businesses to help them get pushed to the top of the search results. And again, you can check out that training there below. And part of building up to these websites and getting them to rank on Google, especially these days, is to build your website now to be more conversational. Talk about the services that you provide. The keyword research is not as important as it used to be. Now it's more conversational type of content that helps a website rank, not a website, but the Google business profile. I talk about this in a video I just created here not too long ago. You can check out that video right here. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.